suppose we're going to leave this in three weeks, six weeks, two months. We're going to exit out of this quarantine. So what can a person do practically? So we, we're talking about, um, you know, what educating ourselves is what we've been talking about. Uh, understanding the new world we're going into. It's a different world. Um, can you just, uh, can you give us something that a person can, who's watching now, can do at home a way, maybe a technique or an exercise or a new way to, to think, you know, I'm, I'm bombarded. I saw something on the news or I, I'm thinking about my, you know, uh, someone I care about and I'm, I'm, I start to get very anxious. You know, how does a person. Yeah. How do we immediately connection, but how, do, how do we immediately start thinking opportunity rather than crisis? Even Wait. in the face of the unknown like that. Yeah. Seth, you were saying you're thinking about something, somebody you care about and you're feeling anxious because you're worried about them. Well, I would, I would say that our thoughts matter. And if we can shift our thinking towards more connected thinking and extend even our love and our well wishes towards others, then that influences. We're all connected by a network of thoughts and emotions. And if each of us feels that they can influence this network, um, then you know that when you pray or think or wish well for your for your loved one, you are actually helping them and protecting them. So that is one thing you can do. Um, each of one should feel responsible, I think, for the whole. And we we should empower ourselves to know that our thoughts and intentions really do matter. Um, I would also, as, on a personal note, I would try to journal and try and write down what my insights and lessons are from this time. Um, what are things that I want to remember to, to do differently? Um, what am I seeing about my life thanks to this time? Um, thanks to this quarantine, what do I see that I can let go of and that I wanna do differently when this ends? Um, so really to just journal and write down these insights so that they come out more clearly and also that we don't forget them. Um, so that's like a more practical level. But in general, I, I really don't believe that we will be able to forget so easily. I think this will leave a mark on our societies, on the way that we live our lives. And it's gonna be an ongoing kind of scrutiny and um, an ongoing change that we're all gonna go through. And the more that we can all crystallize these, um, these lessons, these insights, and understand where we want to go, I think the easier this change will, this transformation will happen for, for all of us. I'd like to open that up to our viewers. Some of those things that Tal said, maybe I think that we would find that many people have um, these similar kind of things. So if, uh, if any of our guests want to um, to even write, Tal, can you repeat some of those things that you that you uh, recommend about journaling, and and uh, maybe if some of the people who are watching want to even uh, to write something, you know, to to share to share in the uh, in the chat here. So maybe this question of how is coronavirus or how is this time helping me be a better me or better my life? How is how how is this an opportunity for me? To change my life for the better. That's good. That's good.